My name is Sascha Schmiel. I am the managing director of the VDMA Materials Handling and Intro Logistics Department. And we've been a partner to the CMAT organization for yeah, forever. And uh, also we are a partner of this uh, event here, which is very nice and I'm very uh, happy to be here. In how far Industry 4.0 will have impacted the material handling in 2025, yeah, that's probably a, a vision from now, but I guess it will have changed everything, like in many other branches. Uh, we are just about to yeah, do the step into the 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution, and um, taking on the story that I tried to tell yesterday, of course, warehouses uh, will still have uh, uh, the products inside and they will still uh, arrange the products getting from to collect uh, uh, the packages and uh, go from A to B. But um, how we do this, that way, that can change completely. Will we have robots in the spot? Will we have, um, yeah, how will people interact with those robots? How many people will be in the, in the warehouses? So that's all going to change and, and for that reason I think uh, Industry 4.0 will impact the materials handling sector very, very deeply, which is probably good. And um, yeah, um, I think change is the word of the moment. Yeah, I think a lot is going on already in, in terms of uh, innovative products. We've seen a lot of them on the uh, CMAT in Hannover, of course. We have also some examples right here at this spot. Um, I think the first step will be to have more automatization and some digitalization, meaning that machines will do their job without, uh, without being, uh, um, yeah, um, programmed right uh, away by a person, will learn more from the behavior of a person, so there will be more interaction. And maybe AGVs will not go the way they were programmed, but will adapt to the behavior of the people in the warehouse. So they will follow people and position, always position themselves in a, in a, in a good way that uh, the person acting can load or unload the vehicle. So it will save time, it will be more safe, that will be uh, a new way of cooperation between man and machine. Yeah, the question between Industry 4.0 being rather an evolution than a revolution. If we look around, um, then we see that a lot of products now use technology, uh, sensors technology, for example, that has been developed in the recent, I don't know what, five to ten years, and now becomes uh, part of a, of a, of a, of a greater um, concept and um, really works now and now it's really put to applications. Um, so I would not see a revolution in this uh, because you have, you have the next steps. But if you put all the evolutions together and you look at it from a, from a 10 years time perspective in the future looking back, then it might look like a revolution. So both uh, both words will be right. I think from now on we should live it like an evolution because that's much more um, practicable, I, I think. Um, but from an from an uh, point in the future, it might look looking back, it might might pop up to be a revolution. Well, of course, talking about Industry 4.0, you, you won't get along without talking about the cloud. Um, maybe the cloud was not, uh, was not linked in the first place to industry, but now we see more and more how the cloud interferes with industrial applications. And especially in the intro logistics, there are already some good examples in how far the cloud will change business and um, especially have new business models. Because um, maybe when we look back uh, already in 2014 on the CMAT show, we could see uh, a big boost in the fleet management uh, systems of the forklift trucks. And um, that was more or less maybe a beginning of, of cloud-based technology. Because um, if you have all the data from all the forklifts working in a certain area, of course you can um, 
get more information out of it um, than concerning uh, any single truck. Um, nowadays, um, big logistics uh, warehouses um, also um, deliver their data to the cloud. And if you compare now several warehouses with data from the cloud, you can easily see who's doing good and who's doing better. And of course, when we look to new business, maybe the idea is <clears throat> that the manufacturer of uh, the equipment for the warehouse centers can say, well, you are doing good, but there's somebody doing better. And um, yeah, I can, uh, I can give you some consultation on how to uh, enhance your processes, looking at the data from the cloud. So we can, we can make everybody a bit better if we put together all the data, what we call the cloud. <laughs>